So, I wasn't going to originally make this video, but in spite of recent events, I have decided to go ahead and actually make it. So in this video, I would like to just discuss what is so wrong with bot lists and what in reality needs to change, because I, I do personally feel there are quite a lot of issues surrounding most of these types of lists. Just before I do start though, I would just like to talk about our problem with Discord bot list. So as you should be able to see on the screen, me and many other developers received a DM from the Luca bot, which is Discord bot list's official moderation bot. Um, and it told us that our bot had been deleted from the list because they don't allow advertisement bots. But the thing is, is that only few of us were actually targeted for this message. And there were many bots that are still online and active on the list which are allowed to be there and the mod's reason for this was that many of these bots have been grandfathered in for the actual original rules introduced but if we look at the bots that are allowed to stay you can clearly see that some of them are actually a lot newer than some of the bots that had been removed from the list which clearly shows that they're lying and this is a thing that I want bot lists to change I want them to be more clear about their rules and to be more clear about actions they take towards how they deal with it. Because it's just ridiculous the amount of problems I have ever had with any bot list, not just Discord bot listing, but all general lists in general. Because they all have slightly different workings, but the thing that's generally quite common about them is that they literally tell you nothing about what gets accepted and not accepted except from the few simple oh if your bot mass dms people it will be immediately removed and things like that it, it, this is not apart from that it doesn't really go any further it just stays there and doesn't say anything about what specifically is allowed and what is not allowed so you have to wait for example a month for your bot to actually be checked to be told that oh sorry we don't accept that here uh, and one of the other things that i have a problem with is that these rules don't exist at all, and um, there's no actual guidelines for mods to actually follow. So they go by what I call their own rules. And that's a big problem because depending on what moderator you get depends on if your bot gets accepted or not. Because one day you could be told one thing, and the next day you put your bot in for review, a different moderator tells you the completely opposite story. For example, one says, oh excuse me, we're not allowing uh, advertising bots here. So we're not going to allow your bot to join. And then the next moderator you see, oh yeah, we uh, accept um, advertising bots with open arms. Come on in. And that, that's just a simple example. And that's many of the dealings that I have personally had with these sorts of bot lists. So I want to be suggesting in this video what should be changing and what alternatives you can use to big bot lists because I think big bot lists can be getting quite corrupted right now. It's not just a battle bait, it's just the management of many of these lists is just so ridiculous I just cannot get my head around any how any mod can work for them. So in this part of the video I'll be telling you some general things that I think bot lists need to urgently change. So generally when you go to actually put your bot on a bot list, you have a few small rules that are placed beside next to where you're typing in all of the information to get your bot on the list. And they generally only say things like uh, your bot should not randomly DM people in the server, should mass DM, they should not respond to anything unless it is a specific command. And that, yeah, that is simple, that is, that is simple bot requirements. And every bot list pretty much has that. But my problem is many of these bot lists don't actually specify what they do and do not allow. So it generally comes up to the moderator's decision on what is allowed. Which of course that varies between each moderator because it hasn't been set out by the administration team of each bot list. So each moderator does what they want and you'll find that you always get a different response between each moderator. Because of course they haven't talked. And they don't have these sort of meetings generally to say, should we accept this bot? And I don't really think they generally end up actually contacting any of the administration team. Now, of course, if they actually 
put the rules on the page and told what told their mods what they do and do not accept, it'd be a lot better. Now I've already talked about quite a lot of problems I have with uh, bad moderation in um, particularly the Discord bot list server, um, but I'm going to let this part speak for itself. So the time it takes to moderate on a lot of these bot lists can be quite ridiculous and I understand smaller ones will have a problem with staffing but if it takes a sort of like a month to moderate a bot in maybe say a shorter list it clearly shows a sign that maybe you do need more moderators to actually moderate your list because the, the amount of times I've had to enter a bot list and wait a month just to be told that my bot won't be accepted it's ridiculous because I, I go and check the actual logs of the server and you can see no mod has really done anything for like a month and it just that's that mainly quite annoys me quite a lot now I'm sure this video isn't going to get any of our bots back up on the discord bot list server but I'm sure this video has also helped many other bot list owners understand maybe possibly ways to change their bot list to make it much more user friendly and much nicer to use in general. Apart from that all I have to say is thanks for watching till the end. Um, I hope this has maybe helped you um, or you enjoyed it um, and I just want to quickly say as a disclaimer in this video I'm not saying don't use discord bot list because it might sound like I'm trying to say that I'm really not. I'm just saying that be wary because there are quite a few things happening with the scoreboard list which aren't the best, I'm going to have to be honest. But um, nonetheless, thanks for watching. Um, like if you did enjoy um, and subscribe if you want to see content that probably won't be like this, but content for me in the future. Thanks for watching, good day.